Do you want to know how to deal with boredom and loneliness? Let's check it out. Hey, what's up people from the internet? My name is Dan, Dan the Mexican, and I hope you are enjoying this beautiful day. Welcome back to Dan the Mexican Place, where we play pretty much any and every game that we can get our hands on. And since we're all in this together, in this, uh, you know, world situation, I figure let's go ahead and find a game that we can all play and enjoy during these difficult times. And lo and behold, look what I found. How to cope with boredom and loneliness, a guide for the isolated. This game couldn't be any more perfect. So let's go ahead and check it out. As always, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you guys can go ahead and download it, check it out, play for yourselves, show them some love. Uh, these guys just go ahead and make some fun games. So let's go ahead and click start. Uh, just super, super quick. Uh, we have two options when we're going to do this. Uh, examine the item, select the item. Let's go ahead and click start. Excited. Oh. Those are the tunes. Instruction to make a documentary. I always want to make a documentary. So we have Nigel Wimble, and he's from a documentary filmmaker. And he is going to do uh, a little bit of a small film about this guy. Uh, for his uh, award women series of how to cope with boredom and loneliness, a guy for the isolated. And we have Harold here, 43 year old man. He's been grounded <laughs> to his bedroom for 30 years. You thought six weeks was too hard or how long you've been in uh, you know, in this situation? He's been in his house for 30 years. And obviously his lovely mom is the one that, that takes care of him. And because he's a very good mom, you know, doesn't give us a whole lot of time to uh, you know make this documentary so we need to be quick there's a whole bunch of items uh, items in the room that we can select we can select three of them to make our documentary so we need to be careful and we're going to be scored based on the items that we pick so let's go ahead and check it out let's go ahead and enjoy it guys okay so let's see what we have here i was about harold oh man Carol's looking rough and well margaret that's definitely an all-time old-fashioned mom if i can say so myself uh, okay, what is this? It's a rabbit, a telescope, uh, a toy truck, uh, we also have a crab clock, fish tank, obviously Margaret, some papers, a bee poster, uh, I don't know if that's related to any movies I've known, a uh, TV, a guitar, uh, <laughs> a race car bed, Harold of course, and some fish, they don't do anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick the, the craziest three items that we can find in the room. You need to pick the B poster. I think there is like an undying consequence if we don't pick the, the poster. So let's go and click on it. Let's see what it would say in our documentary. Boris, a special B, came out in 1983. All right, oh man, that they, they won't even let you click to continue reading, but that's okay. Uh, okay, <laughs> terrible movie, okay. Mother says I'm special, like Boris. Okay, so mom says I'm special like Boris, so uh, you do look special, bro. And what about the rabbit? It's a big rabbit, man. Let's take a look. Ew. Okay, so that big ass rabbit's got some stains on it. <laughs> Kevin's my only friend now, aside from mother, of course. Okay, you hang in there, uh, Harold. We're gonna, we're on this together. Uh, okay, what about the the bed? Forty-year-old man sleeping in a ra uh, racing car bed. This would make an interesting topic for discussion. No kidding. You can imagine Harold dreaming of driving away from here. Beautiful. No kidding. Harold loves cars and sleeping. It only makes sense to combine his passions. He hasn't got tons of space in here, you know. Okay, thank you, Margaret. Okay, let's go ahead and pick the B. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Okay, very good. Let's go and click on the rest. Though. I want to see what the rest of the things said. Or says. Uh, what, what toy truck? Okay. Potential soundbite. Oh, I would never play for that. After everything your father did for you. Uh, well, where's my dad, Mom? How about to start with that? Clock. Let's see what it says with the clock. Novelty crap clock. 
Sometimes the common loneliness is isolated will attribute personality to inanimate objects. I do that all the time. What am I talking about? For him, all the watchful clock is ever ticking in a way. Thomas. <laughs> oh, Harold loves that clock. We used to use it to time the intervals between Harold being naughty. For every five minutes he was good, I wouldn't smack him around the head. Okay. Thanks, Margaret. Fish tank. An aquarium. Pit fish, like Harold, are prisoners to their environment. Whoa, I can draw a great parallel to this. <laughs> yeah, love it. Harold's father was never there, so I got him a fish. Thanks, Mom. Papers. Oh, Harold's been writing a movie. <laughs> of course there is! I'm on fire! I like to write erotic dramas set in science fiction futuristic landscapes. Very nice. Uh, TV, I'm surprised it's got a TV. A modern TV! <laughs> Poetic. He's allowed this on no later than 8pm. Kinda like my 10 year old daughter, great. Guitar, what about the guitar? Maybe we'll have to discover a virtuoso. Music can take you to places only your ears can see. The guitar is Harold's vessel to unseen worlds. Mother says I sing like a dog. Howling in agony. <laughs> oh, poor Harold, man. Oh, yeah, we already know that. Oh, we can actually click on that. Okay, cool. Hey, man, you're cool. Okay. Harold loves cars and sleeping. It only makes sense to combine his passions. He hasn't got tons of space in here, you know. <laughs> it's so simple, man. I love this in the games. Okay, so we, we picked the, the post. Let's pick the, something more ridiculous. Let's pick the, uh, the giant rabbit. Yeah, no kidding. And the race car. The race car bet. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so let's get out and finish the interview. Let's watch our documentary. Tonight at 9 on BBTV, we have the final part of Nigel Wimble's hard-hitting docu-series How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness, A Guide for the Isolated. In tonight's episode, Nigel looks at a special case where a man has been grounded to his bedroom for over 33 years. Hello, I'm Nigel Wimble. <laughs> well, Harold always has been a naughty boy. He was quite out of hand, you know. I've only got one nice picture of him, and even that he's pissing on the cat. <laughs> In the end, I sent him to his bedroom, and the bad behaviour seemed to stop. So I've kept him up there permanently. I had a look around Harold's room to see what he uses to cope with the boredom and loneliness from 33 years of isolation. I notice a poster for an old children's movie. For some, movies are an escape from reality. For Harold, his reality is like a movie. A terrible movie. <laughs> I do love getting lost in a good movie, but I think Boris the Special Bee was the last time I did get lost in a movie. I remember it like yesterday. It was the last time Mother rewarded me for good behaviour. Boris used to say, oh, behave, get it, behave. <laughs> it was awfully funny when Mother used to tell me to behave, and I'd retort, oh, behave, Mother. Yes, you did, you cheeky little shit. <laughs> then Mother would put you over her knee, but you didn't tell the man that, did you? Oh, God. Harold <laughs> oh. and his cohabitor, an overstuffed rabbit, have been through hell together. But at least they had each other to ease the loneliness. Yes, Kevin is a dear friend. We've we've become rather close over these past few years and perhaps more than just friends at this stage. What do you mean by that, Harold? Yeah, what do you mean, Harold? Well, 
Kevin has needs and, well, I have needs too. I'm forever sewing that hole back up. We saw this kind of thing go on in our prison episode, so I'm not surprised to see it happening here too. <laughs> Whether this arrangement is mutual, we will never know. <laughs> oh, As God. Kevin has decided to remain quiet during the making of this movie. Harold still has the plastic racing car Betty had as a child. You can imagine Harold dreaming of driving away from this isolated reality. Well, I, I always had a passion for racing as a child, and I suppose that passion never left me. Though it's nice to keep hold of the bed, really. I mean, it doesn't happen very often nowadays, but I'll sometimes sit there and pretend I'm Jensen Button for, well, hours at a time, really. My time with Harold has come to an end. I hope one day he will find freedom and live a full life. But until then, he will continue to look for ways to cope with Aren't we all? boredom and loneliness. Don't we all? I'm Nigel Wimble. Good night. Oh man, we're happy to see this next week as I investigate cows and why so many stomachs. 9 p.m. Wednesday night on BBTV. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. Regular? Okay. So, I wish that mother would behave. Touching stuff. 7 out of 10. Simone from Basingstoke. Okay. Disgusting! My train could have walked in. 5 out of 10. Angry Mother Weekly. I laugh so hard, I shit milk. How do you shit milk? 8 out of 10 still though. A <laughs> Total Car Magazine. Awesome. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and try one more time and see what else we can get. Uh, we're just gonna skip, you know, past this. Yes, instructions. How to make a documentary, you guys know this. Oh man, poor Harold, that's how we all feel right now. Okay, yes. So let's go ahead and click, click, click. Yes, 30 year old, I mean, 43 year old Margaret ruling with an iron fist. Yeah, every item tells a story. All right, so let's go ahead and pick something else. So we picked the poster, the rabbit, and the bed. Mm, let's go ahead and pick the guitar. And uh, I want to see what, I mean, poor rabbit, but let's see what the telescope has to tell us about uh, poor Harold. And what about, yeah, the paper. Let's take a look at that movie, that script. Yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. Tonight at 9 on the TV, we have the final part of Nigel Wimble's hard-hitting docu-series How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness, A Guide for the Isolated. The guy doesn't even have a microphone. Do you guys notice that? In tonight's episode, Nigel looks at a special case where a man has been grounded to his bedroom for over 33 years. Hello, I'm Nigel Wimble. Well, I would always has been a naughty boy. <laughs> he was quite out of hand, you know. I've only got one nice picture of him, and even that he's pissing on the cat. <laughs> I get with the cat pissing. What's going on, Carol? Oh man, like. In the end, I sent him to his bedroom, and the bad behaviour seemed to stop. That would stop any kid. I've kept him up there permanently. I had a look around Harold's room to see what he uses to cope with the boredom. Can you imagine if your mom put you like that? Every time you're naughty, you're going to be locked down, locked down for 30 years. Music can take you to places only your ears can see. The guitar is Harold's vessel to unseen worlds, and he is the captain. If Mother allows it, I, I would like to play you a new piece I've been working oh, on. Oh, please, please, Plastic play the piece. Bed. Sitting in my car, my little plastic car, yes, here we are. <laughs> oh, my car, my little plastic car, take me to the road and I sing this song. Old hot tar, melt in my car, these tires are made for <laughs> asphalt <laughs> roads. Nice.
He's definitely a virtuoso. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, what about With the telescope? In the sky, you can sometimes forget where your feet are. For Harold, he never forgets where his feet are, but... Still has sights on the stars. This old telescope has got me through many an afternoon. I bet. I mean, sometimes I'll pretend I'm a World War II sniper and people at the bus stop are advancing Germans. They wouldn't stand a chance if it was a real sniper rifle, let me tell you. Okay. They could try taking cover, but I'm pretty sure the bullets would go straight through the bus shelter. Oh God, Harold. Behave. Bloodbath. Behave. Huh. I spied a screenplay Harold had been working on. With Hollywood full of deranged idiots, maybe Harold hopes there's room for one more. Maybe. He decided to read me some lines. She ran her slightly damp tentacle across his cheek as he gazed longingly what? into her compound eyes. I don't care that you tried to bite my head off during coitus. I love you, Sheila. Run away to Planet Vargon with me, please. I love you too, Brad, but my father... Let me talk to him. He'll understand. Now come here and kiss me. Sheila passionately kisses Brad with her four mouths. Brad slowly strokes her. That will do now, Harold. You're a bloody pervert. <laughs> okay. My four time mouths. Harold has come to an end. I hope one day he will find freedom and live a full life. But until then, he will continue to look for ways to cope with boredom and loneliness. I'm Nigel Wimble. Oh, Good Nigel, night. Nigel, Nigel. Join us next week as I investigate cows and why so many stomachs. 9 p.m. Wednesday night on BBTV. Make sure you check it out, guys. Hey, we did excellent. Look at that. Very poignant moment when he pulled out the guitar. 10 out of 10. John from St. Helens. I used my telescope to uh, the exact same way. <laughs> Amazing show, Nigel, 10 out of 10. Uh, that screenplay sounded hot. What's part two coming out? 10 out of 10, Sci-Fi Insider. I bet Insider. Oh my God, yeah, we did great, we did excellent. Let's go ahead and do one more and see what, uh, you know, what else is there. Just do one more, there's plenty of other objects. But we already got, uh, you know, a good and an excellent. Let's see what can get something bad, you know. Yes, Nigel Wimble, BBT documentary filmmaker. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. And by all means, I'm gonna take this opportunity, guys, to you know, leave, leave me your comments. Tell me how do you, you know, deal with boredom and loneliness and this uh, this crazy time, these crazy times that we're living in uh, right now. Every rest in their house. Hopefully, you know, stay safe. Wash your hands, all that fun stuff. Go ahead and leave me a comment. <laughs> How do you guys deal with boredom and loneliness? Let's go ahead and pick three more items. Uh, you know, see what else we see. See if we can get like a bad review from uh, yeah, the BBT watchers of this uh, fantastic documentaries from Nigel. I think I'm gonna pick, okay, we need to pick the clock, I think. Yes, that's going in. Uh, the fish tank. What else was there? We can, can, we, can we pick Margaret? No. Can we pick Harold? No. We'll pick this, we'll pick this. I don't care about the TV. Uh, we'll pick this, this, and this. I think that's it because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, whatever. Let's go ahead and pick the clock, the fish tank, and the TV. Yes. And let's see what we get. Let's see if this is even more excellent than the last documentary. Tonight at 9 on BBTV, we have the final part of Nigel Wimble's hard-hitting docu-series How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness, A Guide for the Isolated. In tonight's episode, Nigel looks at a special case where a man has been grounded to his bedroom for over 33 years. 33 Hello, years. I'm Just Nigel imagine Wimble. that, guys. 33 years. Well, if people continue to be well, stupid, we might be in uh, Harold's shoes very soon. He was quite out of hand, you know. I've only got one nice picture of him, and even now he's pissing on the cat. Oh, they're pissing on the cat, man. I'm not, I'm not gonna get over that. Poor cat. The cat doesn't even care. 
And the they just look at Aaron like, hey, what are you doing that again? You seem to stop. Poor cat. So I've kept him up there permanently. I had a look around Harold's room to see what he uses to cope with the boredom and loneliness from 33 years of isolation. For Harold, the watchful clock is ever ticking. In a way, time has been his only companion. I never did like Crab Clock. He's always been there, mocking me with his incessant ticking. <laughs> Mother always said, when the big head reaches 1996, I'm allowed to come out of my room. It's 2016 now, but she thinks I'm still a threat to harmony. Maybe you are, Harold. You can lose hours to the peace and tranquility of a well-maintained aquarium. That's true. But like the fish, Harold is swimming in a sea of isolation. Yes, I, uh, I sometimes look at the fish tank as if it is my bedroom and I am mother. But then I felt it wasn't fair to keep the fish isolated like me, so I set it free. What did you do with the fish? Well, I took it to school to release into the nearby brook. But by the time I had got there, it had dried out in my pocket. No, Harold, no! To the isolated idiot, watching television <laughs> is an escapism we all take for granted. And my mother treated me to a modern television last year. She says if I'm good this year, she will give me the plug for an extra ten minutes. Okay. But you haven't been good, have you, Harold? Tell the man about the carrot you stuck up your nose. <laughs> I told you not to smuggle food in here for Kevin. My time with Harold has come to an end. I hope one day he will find freedom and live a full life. Hopefully. Poor Harold. But until then... He will continue to look for ways to cope with boredom and loneliness. <laughs> I'm Nigel Wimble. Good night. Oh, good night, Nigel. Join us next week as I investigate cows and why so many stomachs. 9pm hmm. Wednesday night on BBTV. Wednesday night. Hey, with this horrible, awesome... The filmmaker asks the prisoner about a clock when I'm looking at mine. <laughs> 4 out of 10, snark online. He murdered a fish and put this man on... He, he murdered a fish and you put this man on television? Thank you, Nigel. 3 out of 10, vegan monthly. Well, you're even worse, man. You're vegan. He should be happy his television is switched off. He does have to watch this shrivel. 4 out of 10. Well, there you have it, guys. With that all horrible this time around with uh, the mini series from Nigel. But anyways, uh, there's the game guys, go ahead and check it out, it's super fun. Try it for yourselves and see what kind of mix uh, you can get, what kind of documentaries you can actually get out of this. Uh, like I said, I'm going to leave the link in the description below so you guys can go ahead and check it out. And as always, if you like the content that we have here in the channel, go ahead and subscribe and click that bell, that notification bell, so you guys don't miss any of the content that we have here in the channel. Like always, uh, my name is Dan, and Dan the Mexican! Sitting in my car, my little plastic car, my glass here we are. Oh my car, my little plastic car, take me to the road and I'll send you something. I'll see you next time!